Well, this scene doesn't look suspicious at all. Hello guys, welcome back to No More Heroes, the Heroes Paradise. In the last episode, we did a stupidly hard mission that was really dumb and stupid, but we also paid in order to get the fifth ranking match open. And here it is, right here. We have no idea who it is because Sylvia di did not decide to give us any information because she was on vacation. But this is a suspicious looking scene right off the bat, so... I have no idea what to expect. Let's go in. Jesus. You know, if you have an if you have a definition of the word ominous and suspicious in a dictionary, I'm pretty sure you would find this um you would find this um location. And have I missed a Yeah, I did. I almost missed that. Train card number 26 right at the start there. So just turn around straight away and don't be an idiot like I was. So we got three of the trading cards already, which is uh, pretty obscure, considering. But anyway, let's just make our way down this hallway and f f fight our way over to yeah. Let's Shake and, um, s sir? Um, sirs? You know you're supposed to be fighting me, right? What the hell? Hey, you suspicious dude! Are you with Let's Shake? Hey, hey! Don't ignore me! God damn it, I'm just gonna get this pizza just because I can. Hey! Don't you dare run away from me! Hey, stop running! Are, are you supposed to be one of the guys I'm fighting? God damn it! Well, fine, I guess I'll just kill this guy then in your place, but Jesus! What an interesting, sexy looking fellow. Anyway, I guess we'll just take care of the people that actually do want to fight me, who look like spacemen, which is an interesting... Um... Attire that they have on right there. So, let's just do that. Okay, that's one down. And... Come on. Come on, sir. Be a good person and die like a true gentleman. There we go. And let's see, no uh, treasure chests. I can't believe I'm getting paranoid about finding treasure chests in a one, one corridor hallway. But I guess I could be paranoid about anything. And I still got some battery left, so let's just do it up, buddy. I just want to talk to you. I can apparently target you. So are you my enemy? And why do you look like a cool guy of some kind? Guy! Don't ignore me! Ah, fine, I'll just take out your underling then. God, I guess this is why I get for self-respect as a sixth rank ranking assassin these days. Anyway. Let's take out all of these guys. And just continue down. Jesus Christ, this is a long hallway. God, I can't even see the place that we just came from anymore. I'll give, I'll give the guy one thing, he has hell of a stanima, st um, hell of a stanima, and I just accidentally tried to run, even though I can't run during um, combat in this game, which is kind of annoying, but not much in all honesty, so I guess I'll just keep on going down. But it looks like we got some more enemies up ahead, so... Let's just take them out nice and quickly, because they aren't too much trouble, it seems. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, you got a few good hits on me, Bet. But, I always get good hits on you. So, I can't complain. There we go. And wow, you actually lived through my death blow, so... Or weapon clash, even. So, I need to give you at least that much prop. Oh god, that's a new one. That must be the wrong wrestling move we got from that tape. And you know what? I just realized something. I forgot to watch Bishop's tape when I went back to the motel. So, I'm a smart person. Ah, man. 
I guess we'll do it for the next ranking fight, but ah, oh, man, that's ah. I knew I would forget something during this LP. Like, forget to upgrade a move, or forget to do some training, but, man... You just feel stupid when you do it. Just continue down this hallway, once again. And you know what, I'm just gonna waste my stock right here, because I can, and just take down all of you! Just do like, Jojo's just like, oh no 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 no, or just, um... Ken Shiro's, ah no 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 no, thing, you know. Except with a beam katana. And wow, but I would okay, I have to say the cherry Um the cherry death flow mode is by far the weakest one because he, I can't even take out one guy while in slow motion. Because he still has some of his invincibility frames, which is kind of annoying in all honesty. For God. You know what game? You're not really giving me much to talk about here because it's just the lot same long hallway over and over again. So, I would appreciate a change of scenery. But hey, I guess we can't, I guess beggars can't be choosers, eh? So, at this point, I've just pretty much accepted that this guy is leading me somewhere, so... You wanna talk, buddy? Like, you know, have a conversation? Tell me your name? Stop being all dark and mysterious? It's kind of impressive that you have a shadow in a lit up area, I mean, I'm not sure how you're completely shadowed in the face considering that, but, you know, it's it's pretty impressive. I like your coat. And I don't like these guys, I mean, god, they look, okay, this guy's not even subtly, uh, subtly but like, um, it's like a TIE Fighter Trooper at this point. All the other people, like, at least look like spacemen, but this guy? This guy's got the whole tough yeah. mm, Sorry, excuse me. He's got the whole um, TIE Fighter aesthetic going on, so I guess I can give him that. Doesn't mean it makes his fighting skills any better, though. Okay, so. Are we near the end? I think I see a treasure chest in the distance there, so I'm going to guess it's near the end. If so, this was a pretty simple run up in, up to the boss. But hey! Can't complain, just means I get to rank 5 mu that much quicker. Get trading card number 29 and... Blackheads on your nose? Might I recommend a good hygiene set? When you're ready, step inside. Now, don't tense up too much on this one. You've been slacking up a bit. You must maintain a steady tempo. Oui. You know what I mean, right? I am so sorry to say this, but I am 1,800% positive that you will die here. But trust your force and head for the garden. Of madness. What do you mean slacking off? I've actually been ahead of the curb. I've got my payments due, like, right at the start. I got everything set. I mean, oh man. Sylvia, you are one tough taskmaster. And up there looks like the final location for, um, the, uh, boss fight. God, that's what I wanted to call it. <laughs> but right here we got a save point. How kind of them to put a toilet uh, in the middle of a abandoned bunker facility. Okay, so now that we've got all that sorted out, before we head on up, let's get the final collectible card, number 30, and make our way. Don't walk into the light, Travis, for there is danger up ahead. But we like danger, so screw my own advice! At 
last. Doctor, it's time. Wake up! Oh, yeah. I feel a good undulation. Your rumbling is excellent. I think I'm going to lose the bowel control. You the fifth-ranked guy? Yeah! I've been waiting for you! You certainly sound like you're up for a fight. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, then. Here I come. <laughs> Disaster blaster, charging ignition. Ignition ready. Activating main engine. Activating solid engine. Operational 50%. Cluster generator active. Calculating coordinates. Thermal protection off. Cycle ratio, 25%. Anti-shock balance are open. Calculation complete. The detection system, normal. Target acquisition, 98%. Main panel, open. Cycle ratio, 55%. Activate cell pistons. Maximize output. Ignite vanishing sparks. Cycle ratio, 80%. Scouting scope, open! All systems, go! T minus 10 seconds! Cycle ratio, 100%! T minus 7 seconds! Cycle ratio, 140%! T minus 5 seconds! Maximum output! Critical point exceeded! T minus 3! Travis touchdown, is it not? Son of a bitch! Fucking snatcher! I had him! Dance with me, Travis. A katana. This is getting interesting. What do you go by? Henry. Henry? <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. I. Am... I don't know who you are or what you want, Sir Henry. Where are your manners? That was my kill, you naughty boy! Shall we get this over with? And don't hate me if I play a tad dirty. Fine by me. After you. What the? the, 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 the kill steal! I told kill steal! Well, I guess Travis got a fight out of it anyway, but. That's the fifth ranking match, I guess. So that was the mysterious person, Henry. Ugh. I swear you'll get your comeuppance next time. Stop right there! The fight is over! Travis, you are now ranked fifth. But we haven't even... We're just getting started! Perhaps you've forgotten these fights are an official game. If your opponent dies for whatever reason, according to the rules of conduct, it is your win. That's fucked up! That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard! This guy's mine, and you just want me to let him go, bitch? Mm. Rules are rules. You can't have what you can't have. Whatever. But this dude says he wants to fight, and ain't nobody gonna stop him. This ass clown right here is... Who? Hey! He's gone! Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker, he just jetted! What a pussy. Sorry. Save that aggression for your next match. Who the hell was that guy? God damn, we don't even get to fight the guy who stole our kill? Aw, oh, man. I mean, I guess we get to fifth rank, but I don't really feel like I've earned it.
Man, this is the worst fight ever! Maybe I'd feel better if I actually earned a fifth kill. <sighs> but anyway, it's no time to complain about that. Because rank number four is on the way as well, and it's going to cost us $400,000. And who knows? Maybe Naomi has something up her sleeve in order to um, show us uh, after we gave her that US secret technology. And also the other thing I could do while I'm here, which is watch some TV, because I forgot to look at the video number three. So let's do that right now. Learn to pro wrestling move the Hurricane Rana. So I guess there's a little bit of solace in knowing that I finally got that done. But hey, guess we just gotta pay our jobs and, or do our jobs and pay our bills. Travis, well, it's time to do our regular Travis. upgrade tour. So let's see if anything uh, Bishop has today is of any worth. And indeed there is. We've got video volume number four. Video of the famous pro wrestling match. Thunder Ryu's seventh match. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll buy that str straight away. And also, look at the DVDs that are on the shelf there. And I love how much detail went into these fake covers. I mean, they're a little bit low res, but you can tell that they're ob obviously real pictures that just got dumbed down. Come back again. God, this game puts detail in the weirdest of places sometimes. But anyway, next stop on our upgrade tour. Naomi, have you got anything to me about that new model? Yeah, it's complete. Pretty, huh? Just look at its shape. Only I can make something so beautiful. So let's see. Is it done? Oh, what is this? The Subaki Mark II. A beam katana created by the Na by Naomi. Beam emitter and receiver can now op operate simultaneously. Interesting. Well, I'll be buying that straight away, please. And I will also see if there's any extra parts, which there aren't. But you know what? I'm not complaining, because a whole new weapon is plenty enough for me. And as always, last stop on the location list is the training dojo. So let's see if we got any new uh, moves available to us. Possibly a new combo with our new beam katana. Seems I was correct! So let's do that straight away. Since I haven't done this in a while, I'm just going to keep this on camera because I can. So let's just keep on going with the button presses and make sure we don't mess this up because this is actually very expensive to do. But I'm pretty good with my reaction times to stuff like this, so... It should be no problem. See? Easy, with 9 seconds to spare. We extended the combo of the Beam Katana. Nice. And as always... I shall cut out the rest of this because it's pretty much the same. Nothing new to see here. And as always, the final location, the Job Center, where we will toil away for our gods that have very, very specific... Um, places to, um... And as always, the final location, the Job Center, where we toil away for our very, very obscure gods which apparently realm the skies of Santa Destroy. 
And apparently this guy knows them very well. But anyway, a new job that is in the PS3 Jet version. We got two new jobs in a row, it seems. We got graffiti cleaning. Erase graffiti from the walls. 2,000 for each re removed. So, yeah, pretty simple. Pretty simple description. Now, if it said something like, remove the gra gra graffiti by blowing up the walls, now that would be something I would expect from this game, but no. Just gotta keep it plain and simple, like collecting trash. So let's just make our way over there. Uh, I love... God, I mentioned this before about the open world city element of this game, but considering it's almost practically useless except for the Lobikov um, collecting ball mission, I still appreciate like the amount of um, the variety that they tried to put into it. And you know what, I'm just going to very, very quickly... Mm -hmm. God, that was a terrible choice. That is a terrible t-shirt for what I'm wearing. But anyway, yeah, I do appreciate the amount of, like, um, visual variety they try to pull, even if some of the bu buildings and, like, locations look the same. So it's it was nice and cool to have for, like, one time, but I am actually kind of glad that they got rid of it for the sequel, because there's really no point in this thing even existing, when you really think about it, and... God, I guess that's one way to arrive at a location. Uh, hey, we got here anyway, so, what's up, dude? The unspoken rules of Santa Destroy will never change. The fight will rage on until graffiti is gone from the town of freedom and law lawlessness. The eternity is just around the corner. Your hard work can change this town. The future of Santa Destroy is a town without graffiti. Hard work will never betray you. Hard work will change your future. K kill the god of graffiti! Work harder than you've ever worked before. You know what, no, I actually believe that this was in the Wii version. Yeah, I remember now. This is actually, um, this was done with the Wii remote. I remember this. So, yeah, this isn't a new mission. This is actually a, um... Um... A, um... What am I trying to say? This is actually a common mission uh, found in the Wii version of the game, so I was wrong about that. But basically, yeah, you just have to do different quick time events for different parts of the graffiti. So, it's very simple, and the, they are also marked on your map, so if you can't find any, then you can run to the next location, because it, um, if that is if you've got the run upgrade, and do it right then. Looks so like we're just using the left sticks at the moment. I believe some of them use the circle button in terms of quick time events, but we're not getting it yet, so maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? So we just keep on cleaning this graffiti. I mean, God, guys, you're not even being, like, creative with the graffiti. You're not even, like, doing different patterns. It's the same pattern every time. I mean, are you that or an original? Like, guys, get good with your graffiti patterns at least. And apparently they're a big fan of Ryu Thunder, considering the graffiti said Crazy Thunder. But hey, who am I to judge? Hey, his building's right over there. Maybe he wouldn't mind having some of the graffiti put on top of his building. And I am going to go out of my... Oh, what? I can't get the trash... I can't get the dustbin while doing the job. Ah, uh, I guess that's kind of hypocritical, but... Aw, oh, man, come on, game. I'm just trying to get some clothes, because I'm too lazy to buy any, even though I did that last episode. Uh, but anyway, we got six walls done. Got some more graffiti over here, so if we just make our way over. Let's see, where is it? Oh god, where is the graffiti? Well, where is the graffiti? You know what, at some point, some point it might not even worth to be, um, take, um, taking the time in order to find the graffiti, so I'm just going to... Wait, did that... Did that just spawn there? I could have sworn that that graffiti wasn't there a second ago. Ah, but who knows, I could be crazy about that. So let's see, any more graffiti, any more graffiti. There's graffiti over here, but not there because I can't enter through there. So graffiti should be right here! I shall kill you, god of graffiti, for I am the graffiti kin kin cleaning master! Armed with my broom in hand, which doesn't seem very effective for cleaning off paint, but whatever. I don't even have a bucket of hot water or anything. But I guess I don't need it, so... 
I should probably just stop complaining and just get on with the job. Okay, we're running out of time, so let's see if we have to get this very last one. Come on, come on, come on, Travis! No, I'm not going to be able to do it in time! <laughs> oh, I just went nuts on that last one trying to clean it off, but I guess that's all I'm going to do. But yeah, that's the clean graffiti mission, and it doesn't seem to pay well, so... I guess I'll just go straight to the assassination missions. Which, if the game would be so kind, yep, there we go, it's just going to teleport us there right away. So let's just go in. Hello, Travis. Yo, hello, host person whose name I still don't know. Oh, you got three new missions for me. Kill with wrestling moves only. No other moves are allowed for this mission. Mission ends when all targets are dead. So I guess we'll start from there and work our way upwards. Or downwards, even. May you find your proper part? Okay, so wrestling moves only, and seems like the baseball people decided to migrate and come over to the beach. But let's take a look at our new beam katana that we're not actually going to use this mission. So it's actually got quad, got quad core One. processor apparently because we got four blades on this damn thing. Right, but like I said, too bad we're not going to use it. But that doesn't matter because we can use some of our new, uh, new wrestling moves. So let's just take down all of these guys. And that guy's not a gun. Seriously, we're giving baseball people guns now. That just seems counterintuitive. Okay, just beat everyone down, and... There's a wrestling move we haven't seen in a while. And here's one that we see way too often. But it doesn't matter, because suplexes are always cool. Let's see, god damn it, guys, did you have to be, like, so far away? Couldn't have you, like, come a little bit closer? Especially you ranged guys. Come over here and fight like a man. Or in some of the cases of the assassination missions I've done, the woman. So let's see, just, just stop running away from me, dude! 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 Stop running away! Oh my god. <sighs> He's just gonna be one of those guys, isn't he? Okay, you know what? Oh my god! That's the much. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not gonna kill anyone else until I've killed you first. You get back over here, good sir! Oh, oh my... Just let me... Let me... Gra grab him! Oh my god! This is the most annoying! Okay! You! Stop with your submachine gun fire! Oh my... I HATE RANGE PEOPLE! IN THIS GAME! God damn, this is annoying! Okay, you! No, oh, you don't you dare run away from me! You get over here, and you stop hitting me while I'm trying to kill this guy! Oh, I'm gonna be- Oh my god, I'm not gonna get a chance. Oh my- No, I just wanna kill this guy! I don't care about getting a good rank! I just want this guy dead! <sighs> my bloodthirst has been quenched. Okay, time for assassination gig number 16. Underground, kill as many as you can within the time limit. Mission ends when the time runs out. So am I actually allowed to use my beam katana this time to kill those ranged people? That's so annoying! May you find your upper part? With new beam katana in hand once again, let's actually use the damn thing this time. 
Two. We can also try out a new combo attack if we get the chance. Okay, so let's see. If I remember correctly, this beam katana is actually pretty good um, with the death blow mode in taking out other people as well as the guy that you're death blowing. So, that is very helpful to keep in mind. And also, of course, it does more damage. But only slight amounts uh, on top of our um, strength increase. So, it's a pretty good upgrade. It's also one of my favorite beam katanas in the game. So if we just take out all these guys, God, see, like, look at the range on that thing. It's awesome. Let's actually try the um, charge attack just because I'm curious to see what it's about. So, could you just get a bit closer, dude? Just a bit closer. Um, well, fine then. If you don't want to show the good people the charge attack, then I'm pretty. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing anyway. But God, I just wanted to make sure. Apparently not, though. I'm just going to. Yeah, there we go. It's just got some extra range. That's all. Which is always very much appreciated. But let's just charge this thing up. Oh, okay, or not, because the mission is actually over. That was very simple, and very short. But that's okay. And here we go, the last assassination gig for now. Baseball battle round three. Go on a bat battling killing spree. Yeah, 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 I know how this works. I've done it two times before. It's a nice short mission. I'll meet you guys there, same as always. And here we go, it's time to batter up for hopefully the final round of this mission, because even though it's nice and simple, it gets a little bit repetitive every now and then. So, oh, that was a hard pitch, buddy, but my swinny this faster. So let's see what you got. Ball two. If my track record says anything, then this is the time when, oh God, I actually missed. Strike one. I mistimed that ball, but I'm not gonna mistime this one. Yeah! There we go! See guys, you had nothing to worry about. I had it in the bag the entire time. Okay, so payment with payment... Okay, so with payment actually made to the ATM in order to do our fourth ranking mission, I actually remembered this time, guys. Aren't you proud of me? Let's go in and see what Sylvia has to say about our next ranking fight. If she actually says anything this time. Travis, the next rank is fourth. Who is it? But come to think of it, it doesn't really matter, does it? I am sending you a ticket for a show. Look nice. Let's go together. Number four will be there. A show? Wait. This is a date, right? Something like that. Why else would I be getting an oil rub? Wh what? What did you say? Someone's rubbing you down? I'll see you later. Well, Travis, it's look, time for us to look our best tonight. So you know what? I think I'll make it a special occasion. But for now, before we end off this episode, I'm going to just go to the bathroom and save, and I'm also going to actually remember to watch this tape I got right here, video number four. Love the power bomb! It's so bad. But anyway. <laughs> before we. <laughs> so, this is it. I'll be saving before we going off to our fourth ranking mission. And you know what? I might even make myself a little bit classier if we're going to be going out on a date. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But anyway. This will be it for this episode. So, in the next episode of No More Heroes, we'll be hopefully meeting up with the fourth ranking fight and taking our fourth rank. See you guys then.